This is not our path. Let's avoid here. Wait, teammates. This is not our path. Let's avoid here. Oh, it's Ray! It's Ray's voice! Ah, oh, that's cool. Dow, well done. Is it, yeah, just voice correct. <laughs> <laughs> Yup, I managed to turn my voice into any character I want. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you could do it too. But first, let's take this AI for a test run. Wait, what is your name, teammate? Socially inept weed. What do you want from me? What is it? Are you an AI? Wait, how did he figure it out so fast? You put Siri up to your mic. Come on. Take a second. Write your sentence. You really thought I put Siri up? You put some kind of AI up. Hello. Give him a minute. He's an AI. You're a pretty smart, huh? Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> I am quite smart, thank you. Well, Ray, do you want to drop? We don't want to drop. <laughs> drop us anywhere, bro. It's a voice bro. changer. There's I'm enemies gonna... over here. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. No, no, sh I'm sorry, that was really hard. Wait, I'm dead. You just landed. I'm going to drop on them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Well played. Sorry, what? What? <laughs> it sometimes misses up, huh? I reckon. Well played. Oh, well played. Well played. Uh, yes, AI. Oh. Wow, I've never played with an AI before. <laughs> this is really offensive to him, calling him an AI as he carries us. I can never be offended. <laughs> he can never be offended. What do people use you for the most? In school, people use you to write essays? No, relatable. Oh. I do that all the time. I think that's Chad GBT. That's not me. Oh, uh, it's Chad so GBT your cousin? I'm like Wait, his you... long lost brother. Uh -huh. Are you British? Oh crap, I put too much of an accent. <laughs> Whose voice do you think this is? Probably why. No, that doesn't sound like me. This is not our path. Let's avoid here. Wait, teammate. This is not our path. Let's avoid here. Oh, it's Ray! It's Ray's voice! Ah, oh, that's cool. Bless, Bless you. you. Wait, we said it at the same time. Bless you. <laughs> On you, Ray! Thanks. Thanks for the scene. Yes! Shit. Yes, let's go, Ray. Mama, you're okay too. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm kidding. It took me so long to realize it was Ray. It took until that voice line. It actually requires me to do some voice acting as well. <laughs> Wait, voice acting? <laughs> Give us some voice acting. We do a real voice. Stay alert. There might be enemy no. activity this way. Stay alert. There might be some enemies. Oh shit, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're in a video right now. Oh, true. Yo, <laughs> check out my TikTok, guys. What have I told you? I was a YouTuber as well. Oh, yeah, what's a YouTube? It's literally my username. Oh, wow. He's got 31k subs. No way. You guys are in my YouTube video. <laughs> this is actually the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Do you know how old I am? Oh, I'm going to take a One. guesstimate and say you're at least... I'm going to say 22. 21? It's close. Oh, I am 21, yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> How about you two? How old are you? I'm 17. It's a secret. Wifey is 30. <laughs> God, I'm not 30. Could yeah. you pass me a healing drone? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Also, it takes a while for the AI voice to play, so yeah. I'm getting used to the delay. <laughs> so nice of them. How did you make it? Like, did you make it or is it like someone else made it? I trained this voice oh, model myself, but the technique is from someone else. Do you want the crap? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm pretty bad at it. Wait, who are you? It's a different team. Behind us. Oh, it's my bad, my bad. That's another team. Come, can you call them, Ray? I'll do my best, but oh. I think we're kind of dead. Oh, no. Wifey's well, a, a decent one. It was a good idea to pass you the creeper, huh? <laughs> I can't take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I was being polite. This is such a high skill level lobby. Like, I haven't played Apex in so long. Give me a break, man. Like, my, I'm, I'm so garbage it's here right now. What is that? Whoa, toss of the century. I think there's just one left. Oh, awesome. TDs, let's go. Yeah, good job. GG's. <laughs> Thanks for being so nice. Oh, well, thank you for giving us an enjoyable game. GG's, see you, Ray. Bye bye. Oh my god, that was so much fun. My first game back in Apex and we matched up with another YouTuber and TikToker. They absolutely carried me. Go check them out. Links to their channels are in the description. I couldn't have asked for better teammates to test out this AI on. I noticed there's still a delay between them asking a question and the AI actually responding. And the program is extremely fast, like less than two seconds to generate and play the audio file. But the fact that I have to say the full sentence first before the AI can change my voice and play it in voice chat is the main cause of the delay. But still, an extremely successful test run. Well, now that you guys have seen what this AI can do, let me show how you guys could actually set all this up 
and run it for yourselves, even if you don't have a GPU. Before we jump into my repository, however, there's another repo that does voice changing in real time using RVC AI, and that is this one by W. Okada. It's an app that's able to change your voice as you speak by chunking up the audio from your mic at intervals, converting each audio chunk, and then playing the converted voice by combining the converted audio chunks as smoothly as it can. It even comes with a nice user interface for people who might not be too comfortable with running commands in a command line window. However, in order to achieve this, it requires a powerful GPU. Also, since the voice is playing in real time, you yourself can't really hear it. There's probably a playback option, but if you ever tried testing your mic in Discord and speaking a proper sentence at the same time, you will know how hard it is to concentrate on what you're trying to say as you hear your own voice repeating what you have just said with a delay. So yeah, if you are someone with an extremely powerful graphics card and don't really need to hear the converted voice for yourself, then go ahead to this video right here. He shows you how to set up W. Okada's real-time voice changer for yourself. Also, he made a small mistake in the video. At the point where you would select the index file for the model, he should be selecting this file instead, not the Toto FIA and PY file like he said in the video. So yeah, that part of the app isn't broken, he's just selecting the wrong file. Now that you all know the pros and cons of each repository, if you still decide to choose mine, I'll show you guys how to set up my any voice changer, which acts as an extension to the RVC web UI. So to start, let's go to my GitHub repository, scroll down to the readme file here that contains a bunch of links that you will need. As the instructions here say, you should install Git if you haven't already, just click the link and follow the instructions for whichever OS you might be using. Next, install 7-zip, just click the link and download and run the appropriate executable. After that, it's installing the virtual audio cable, click this link, download the appropriate zip file, extract it, and run the setup executable. You might need to reboot your computer after this step, so just to be safe, you should do it. Lastly is the RVC web UI. You can click on this link and download this RVC beta file. This will take about 8GB of space, not including any of the voice models that you might be training later on, so do ensure that you have enough. After it has been downloaded, you can right-click and extract it using 7-zip into any folder you want. You should uncheck this box just so you won't have a nested folder when extracting. Once it's done extracting, you can delete the original RVC beta file to save space. Navigate back to the RVC folder, type cmd into your file explorer here, and hit enter. This should open a command line window where you can copy these two commands from the readme, paste it here, hit enter, and this will clone my repository into the RVC folder. Once it has completed the first command, hit enter again for the next command, and this will install any additional dependencies required for my extension. In the readme, I did say to fill in your environment variables, but first, let's talk about training a voice model. If you have a powerful GPU, like an RTX, 4090, feel free to run goweb.bat and you can train your voice model locally. For the rest of you, I highly recommend using Google Colab to train your voice models. In my GitHub repository, you can click on this file, any voice changer underscore Colab, and in the preview, there should be an open in Colab badge. So click it, and a new tab will open with the Colab notebook. This is where you can train a voice model or use it for the voice changer. Do note that you should only run this notebook for about 4 to 6 hours a day just to be safe, because there's a hidden time limit to how much you can actually use the free GPU for. Before we discuss how you would run this notebook to train a voice model, you will need to prepare audio files with a character's voice. The quality of the voice model that you train will depend a lot on the quality and length of the audio files. It should be free of background noise or music, with a suitable length being around 10 minutes of just that character's voice, though some of the voice models I have trained before were shorter than that. After you have prepared the voice clip or clips in mp3 format, compress those voice lines into a zip file and upload it to your Google Drive. Now we can go back to the collab notebook and fill in this dataset variable, which is just the name or path to the zip file you uploaded. So if you happen to upload the zip file into a folder called hello, you would just fill in the path like this. If you didn't upload it into a folder, just the name of the zip file is fine. Once that's done, you can simply click runtime and run all. There will be a pop-up asking for access to your Google Drive. This is so that we can save the trained voice model to your Google Drive, because once this collab runtime ends, any trained model files will also be deleted and lost forever. After a couple of minutes, under the run web UI for inference cell, you should see a public link. So just click on it and you'll be directed to the web UI. Those of you who want to train locally should also be on this page after running the goweb.bat. Click on the train tab and fill in your character's name in the experiment name field, which should be unique to any other voice you want to train. Remember this name because it will be important later on. Click V2 and for people running this locally, just copy the path of a folder which contains all your character's audio files and paste it under path to training folder. For people running via collab, just type in slash content slash dataset. The audio files that were in your zip file in your Google Drive should already be in this folder. Scroll down to step 3 and for saving frequency, I like to increase it to 20. Leaving it at 5 would slow down training by quite a bit.
bit. For total training epochs, it's really up to you. If your data set is not that high quality, just training for 20 to 30 is enough. But if the audio quality is high and you also want a decent voice model and you don't mind training the model for a couple of hours, then you can increase it to 200 or maybe more. Just know that there will be diminishing returns where any further time spent training is not worth the small increase in quality. In fact, there's also the possibility where further training can cause the model to become worse. The next field is batch size. For collab users, you want to set this to 25. Any more and you run the risk of getting an out of memory error. For local users, it really depends on your GPU. So experiment with a high number and decrease it until you stop getting any out of memory errors while training. For this, I will pick yes, no and no. Also, if you are wondering how much time it will take, I found that for a training data set of 10 minutes worth of audio clips, it will take around 20 seconds for one training epoch. So that would be a slightly more than an hour of training for 200 training epochs. For a data set of 40 minutes, it will take around 1 minute per step. So that's around more than 3 hours of training. Anyways, once you are done with all the settings, you can just click one click training and wait for the model to finish training. Once it is done, you should see this in the output message and then you can go back to your collab notebook and stop this cell. In order to save the trained voice model, you will need to transfer the files from the collab runtime to your Google Drive. In a cell below, fill in the experiment name that you typed before in the model name field. And for epoch number, I'm not sure if this is the same for everyone. It should be, but just to be safe, click on the files icon here, click on the logs folder, and then the name of your character. Inside this folder should be a bunch of files. So this number after D underscore and G underscore files, in my case, it's this number. Just update this if yours is different. For those of you who may want to train the voice model for more training epochs, you can continue training it from where you left off, but you will have to back up some additional files. That's what this checkbox is for. If you don't want to train the voice model in the future, just uncheck this box. After running it, you can check your Google Drive and in about a minute, the folder containing the trained model files will show up. You only need these two files, the index file and the model file for voice conversion. The other three files are only needed if you want to continue training your voice model for more epochs. Before we start running the voice changer, we should fill in our environment variables and our .env file. This is extremely important to update to ensure that everything works. The first is model name. This is where you type in the experiment name of the voice you want to use. Pitch change is just a number to raise or decrease the pitch of the converted voice. In general, plus 12 is used if you are a guy and changing your voice to a girl, and minus 12 is used for the other way around. For most people, these are the only two variables you'll be touching. The rest are just extra adjustments that you can mostly ignore. Volume envelope is how much the converted voice will mimic the volume of your own voice. If you want a consistent volume for the output, you can use a value of 1. If you want the output to mimic the volume of your own voice, you can choose a decimal number closer to 0. Next is pitch extraction algorithm. So if you want extremely fast conversions without using much GPU VRAM, you can use PM, but at the cost of a lower quality. Harvest, for some reason, works only once and then stops working for subsequent voice conversions, and Crepe is the default which uses around an additional 2GB of GPU VRAM for the best quality voice conversions. Index rate is how much to use the index file, where a closer decimal to zero will cause the sound quality of the output to be more like the quality of audio from the training dataset. GPU index is just which GPU to use in case you have multiple. Mic record key is which key on the keyboard to hold down when you want to record your own voice for voice conversions. The in-game push to talk key is for games like Valorant with no open mic feature, if you set this key to the same as your in-game push to talk key, this will automatically be pressed when the converted voice is being played. For this section of audio device IDs, you should check if your default input and output audio devices are correct first. For Windows, you can right-click here and click Sound Settings in order to see your default audio devices. As long as the input is your microphone and the output is your headphones or speakers or whatever you're using to hear stuff, you don't have to fill these variables in. This is for people who maybe want to use a different input or output device from the default. You can copy this command and run it in the RVC folder if you want to get your audio device IDs and update these variables. But yeah, in summary, model name, pitch change, and maybe the mic record key and push to talk key are really the important ones that you should update. The rest are stuff that you can leave as is. The collab URL will be filled in later if you do decide to use Google Colab to run the voice changer. So you have finally installed all the requirements, trained your voice model, and set your environment variables in your .env file. All that's left is to run the voice changer.
For those of you with around 5GB of GPU VRAM to spare, I suggest running this locally. If you have trained your voice model on Collab, however, you will need to download the main model file and the index file to your computer first. Then transfer the main model file from your downloads to the weights folder. Create a new folder in the logs folder, with the name being the experiment name that you set when training, which should actually also be the same name as your model file. Then transfer the index file to this newly created folder. If you have trained your voice model locally, these files should already be present in these locations. To run the voice changer using your own GPU, you just have to copy this command from the README, open a command line window at the RVC folder, paste, and run the command. Now you should be able to hold down your mic record key that you set in the .env file and speak. It will take a couple of seconds the first time you do this to load the model into the GPU, but once that's done, the next few times, the voice conversion should take less than 2 seconds for a normal sentence. Do note that if you want to use another voice model or change the pitch, each time you edit this .env file, you have to remember to save the changes you made and also restart the script by pressing Ctrl C, press the up arrow key on your keyboard to autofill the previously ran command and enter to rerun the voice changer. For those of you who do not have a decent enough GPU, you can use Google Collapse GPU for voice conversions instead. So using the same notebook that trained our voice model, we can change the mode to inference and fill in the model name. Do check that your previously trained model is in your Google Drive. With the same folder name as before. In the notebook, scroll down until you see this cell. You will need to enter in an NGROC token here, which requires you to sign up for an account for free. Copy the auth token from the NGROC's website and paste it here. Then, click Runtime and Run All. After a few minutes, you might get this error under this cell. If you do, click Restart Runtime and then run the bottom two cells again. A public URL should appear, which ends with ngroc.free.app, which you can just copy and paste into your .env file for collab URL. Now you can copy this command and run it. The rest is the same as I have previously said for those that are running it locally. With that, you should have yourselves a voice changer that works even if you don't have a decent GPU. All you have to do now is change the audio input device for whichever app or game you want to use it on to cable input, and it should work. Hopefully this guide was helpful, especially for people who don't really have experience with the more technical side of things. I try my best to explain everything as simply as I could. If you still have trouble running the voice changer, feel free to drop by the Discord server, there will be other people there to help you with any questions you may have. There are also some really talented people, so I won't be surprised if maybe one of them makes a version of this where you can set up everything with one click with a user interface as well. With that, our final AI project has finally come to an end. I may still post a couple of videos here and there. This channel isn't going to be deleted, so don't worry about that. I'll just be taking a break from grinding out AI projects one after the other and focusing on university instead. Who knows, maybe once I've gotten some free time, I'll be back with a brand new project like I never left. But otherwise, that's all from me. It's been an amazing few months, few years even, for those of you who were around back then. What started off as just a way for me to record funny moments with my friends, transforms into motivation for me to confront my own social ineptness by chatting with random Japanese people, which then became an actual YouTube channel where you watched as I poured everything I had into these AI projects. So thank you for being here and watching over me after all this time.